I think that, I mean, with with the way that music, with the way that I think music go, has been going lately, and, and I mean, you feel free to disagree. I mean, I disagree. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, and anyone in general, uh, feel free to, because I know that there are still people who are, like, fans of music nowadays, but, um, I would be totally okay with there not being any new music ever and just playing, like, all the stuff we already have. Um, well, I mean, I, I do disagree with you. I think that they're the last, like, I think in in terms of uh, of metal, there's been some absolutely wonderful albums that have come out in the last few years. Well, I don't want really to listen to metal that much, so. Uh, I will say there have not been very many good. There, there, I'm I'm struggling to come up with any good like mainstream rock albums in the last like years. Um, and I, I really feel like, honestly, part of that is that metal has kind of colonized that space. Um, I feel like there's a lot of metal acts that are not terribly far from comprising what would be considered like mainstream rock or like classic rock. Like, what I'm, I'm that that I explain that terribly, but like something. I know you don't listen to them, but something like the last, like, Baroness album, like, something like Shock Me off that album, wouldn't be something that would be terribly off-kilter to hear on, like, a mainstream rock station, but they are very much a metal band. And I feel like metal sort of ate into that space from one side, and that's why, like, any of, like, if you listen to a mainstream, quote-unquote, rock station in, like, the Year of Our Lord 2018, you're gonna hear, like, songs from the 90s, and, like, yeah. and, like, occasional rock songs by bands that sound like pop songs, like Fallout Boy. Like, if, if you're on, like, I feel like it's been, been taken out from both sides. Like, the harder edge of rock has been, like, consumed by, by, like, uh, like, slower, sludgier metal, and the the higher end of rock, like the glamier side, has just become like a, a a duchy of like the pop kingdom at this point. Like shit, like Mumford and Sons and Kings of Leon. And, uh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, the last time I really listened to the radio, I would I would still try like you know mainly listen to classic rock stations. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was mostly stuff that I didn't like. Um, like, I, like I would, I would hear, like, the end of a Rush song, and I'm like, oh, well, I missed a good Rush song. What's on next? Freebird, or... <laughs> I um, missed Red Barchetta! Now it's Freebird. Because, <laughs> um... I'm, I'm kidding, they don't play Red Barchetta on the radio. No, they don't. Um... But it was, like, it was, like, something like... If I, I remember, um, specifically, it was, like, it was something like, um... I think it was something like, like Free Will or something like that, mm -hmm. and then it was, um, and then it was, uh, was Freebird, or, like, a John Mellencamp song, and I'm like, just, I, and, my, and I know that, like, Freebird came on, I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be able to come back to this station for, like, five <laughs> or six minutes, because the song never wants to frickin' end, and apologies to everyone in the world, but I am not a Leonard Skinner fan. There are better Leonard Skinner songs than, than Freebird. Uh, pretty much the entire like A side of Street Survivors is much better than uh, than than Freebird. But like I'm also like one of the one of the only people in the world who who likes old school Green Day but does not like Time of Your Life. I know that, that was like that's a, an odd odd segue. Um, I mean I wasn't trying to segue in anything. I was just comparing it with like just you know other trends that I tend to. Oh okay. You know. I mean, I don't even li like the last album that Green Day did. I didn't like very much. But... Like one of the the weird things, like with the radio. What's up going on with that radio? Is like I is I don't even understand who is listening to modern rock radio anymore because like we did the thing a few years ago where they sort of ushered in a new generation of acts into the classic rock station. So now you're, you're the classic rock station in our city plays, you know, uh, they play uh, Stone Temple Pilots, they play U2, they play R.E.M., they play Red Hot Chili Peppers. So it's like, this is all the same shit that's getting played on, like, the modern rock station. So wh why, why does the modern rock station even exist at this point? 
I got to the water level. And why is there no metal radio station? You know? Oh, I'm gonna play one. Okay. Oh, uh, this is me. This time. Oh, no, actually. Let's pick a different style. Let's go with arm spin. We'll go with gun. That's rises. the first time I got to the water level. Congrats. Well, I fucked up. Well, I double fucked up. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with it. Let's go. Fuck it. We're doing it. Oh, shit. We're doing it live. This is, like, the very first time I've played Downwell. <laughs> Manuel Downwell. So, yeah, like, everything on the classic rock station is the same as on the modern rock station now. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck is the point? Like, I don't turn on... I don't turn on the classic rock station to hear fucking with or without you, you know? I hate you two. Like, I turn it on to listen to, like... I don't fucking know. Uh, I that uh, was because of this, you know, Rush and and Boston and Led Zeppelin. Yeah. And... Hey, I'm back to max health. Nice, or full health at least. Well, I think it's just like I don't know if the the radio is just trying to go for things that are popular and. Radio go for things that are oh, popular. Well, God I mean, damn it. It's just like I mean, but I mean, it's just like it's like homogenizing everything into like one. Just it's it's like how TV stations are, where you have Spike TV showing episodes of Friends now. It's like that doesn't make any sense for what Spike is normally normally revolves around with their programming. Well, TV is you know fucked anyway. Well, so is the radio then. I mean, and the only place you actually get well, to hear... Well, there's nobody, dis there's nobody disrupting the radio, is what I'm saying. And, like, the only place you'll get to, to hear classic rock anymore is if you just decide to go and watch a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Nobody wants to listen to your music anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> nobody wants to listen to your Fleetwood Mac anymore. What is wrong with Fleetwood Mac? Nothing. <laughs> I know. Rumors is one of the best albums of the 1970s. I know, I was... Uh, Liftoff, Jetpack... Let's do Exploding Dead Bodies. Exploding dead bodies are always fun. Although, in all honesty, I probably wouldn't have been listening to a lot of those songs nowadays if they didn't get stuck in my head because of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, so... Uh, Good game Marvel, I guess? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm fine with that. I found a bunch of new songs I like. Or songs I, I now like now. So... God. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I like, I like finding the things I like. Or old things you like. In this or old case. things like yeah, you know what I mean. Things, yeah, I, no, things I didn't like before. <laughs> like I knew Mr. Fall Guy. I mean, I always thought Fleetwood Mac was good, but I never really like listened to them until recently. Well, see, this is why you need to have parents with a, a, a vinyl collection who give it to you when you move into your own place. Yeah, my parents. I have I have rumors on vinyl. Yeah. I mean, my parents did have vinyls, but they got when they they. they Traded them off for CDs when the CDs were a thing. I have a bunch of old Skinner and Allman Brothers records from my dad, and occasionally I'll find something good in like a, a Goodwill. Like once at Goodwill, I found the Yes album, which was awesome. I took it home and listened to it. You see, I, I've never I've, I've seen all good people. I've never really been the big of a Yes fan, but then again, like the only song was you know that I've heard from them was like that song there, and I always like associated it with when I worked at at, um, at Food Lion. Of course you have... I mean, you have to be familiar with uh, with Roundabout because of the meme. I'm not familiar with the meme. Um, uh, Joe, What is it? JoJo's Adventure or whatever? They use um, Roundabout as the exit theme, and it, it freezes, and it says, like, to be continued, so people put that on, like, everything now. Oh, I, I, I don't watch this JoJo's like Adventure, adventure so... Um, and neither do I. But, I mean, I'm I've been... I'm familiar with the meme. Anyway, the point is that I've... I've been a little bit more interested in listening to Yes now. Um, now that I don't have to associate with it. Now that I don't work in a place that constantly has music playing over over loudspeakers at me. Um, you should. You should. You should I, also I feel subscribe. Like I, this is what you should also keep Facebook around for like prog rock memes. I shared one the other day. It was a dude. He's at like the optometrists. It's like stock photos and. He's like, here's your, uh, I forget what the fuck it was. He's like, yeah, here's your, uh, we got those new pair of Yes eyeglasses you asked for. And it's got him, like, putting on the glasses and smiling. He's like, great, now I can see all good people. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use the internet for. Oh, God. More technology than any point in history, and I we use it to share memes. 
but I still haven't. I still have a fuck. I mean, I, I still haven't. I? I still never listened to uh, uh, the Tragically Hip. Yeah, and now you'll never get a chance. You'll ne it's another band you'll never get a chance to see live. Yeah, well, I know about that, but I mean, I haven't really even heard any, a lot of their songs either. So, to be fair, I did not get to. We are not in Canada, by the way. If you're listening to this, you may have just assumed that we are Canadian, but we are not. Yeah, we just Here you go. talk about Russian and all dressed <laughs> chips and stuff. We eat all dressed chips. We have yeah, them here in America somebody now. There, somebody's got like a bulletin board with like, and they've got like a picture of Canada, and it's, it's got like a uh, bullet points underneath of it. Rush, all dressed chips, the tragically, and now they're crossing, trailer park boys, trailer park boys, <laughs> and now they're crossing the whole thing out angrily. Like, Damn it! <laughs> That's assuming that we have like conspiracy theories, like where are Greg and Patrick secretly Canadian? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did not get to see them on the. Um, to be fair, I did not get to see them on the fully, completely uh, anniversary tour. I cannot remember why. I think Aaron was sick or something like that. But I did get to see the Tragically Hip like seven fucking times before uh, Gord Downey died. So that's pretty good. Gord Downey was in the Trailer Park Boys movie. Yes, he was. So was Alex Lyson. They were both uh, security guards, I think. And the Trailer Park Boys were in a Tragically Hip music video. Alex Lyson was also in a episode of the show. That was the first episode of the show I ever saw. Yeah, um... Closer to the Heart. But I was gonna say, wasn't it Wasn't it called Closer to the Heart? It was yeah. called Closer to the Heart. That's awesome. That actually was the first song I listened to, um... Because Aaron bought me this, uh, this Bluetooth thing off Amazon for my birthday. It's one of those, like... Because we have an older car, and we don't have one of those things where you plug the phone directly into the stereo. But I listen to podcasts all the time, so I tuck it into, like, the, the side thing to, like, give it an echo. Uh, so she bought me a one of those Bluetooth FM things, and uh, apparently it's, like, a heavy-duty one off Amazon, and it actually fucking works. I've never had one of those that, like, actually works to listen to your music in the car before. And, yeah, the first thing I put on it to test it was Closer to the Heart. Oh, wow. And I'm like, yeah, and the men who hold high places must be the ones who start. I remember when I first got into Rush, and no, it wasn't because of Aqua Team Hunger Force. <laughs> um, that was my, um... It's a majestic owl swooping down from the moon, Patrick. I was, I was the one who, who was, um, when, uh, when they were talking about Rush on Aqua Team Hunger Force, I was the one who pointed out, oh, I, that's Rush, I like Rush. Um, oh, science, man. It was uh, my uncle got me into them when nice. I was when I was living up in Connecticut for that year. I was in in college, and you got me into Rush, and I got you into Rush. So, the Rush is and, and Rush is my favorite band of all time now. So, thanks, oh, Uncle no. Pete. All right, I'm gonna Are go ahead move and move on to something else. I should probably go ahead and cut the video here because we only have like um, Rush. A few minutes left. Uh, if you take anything away from this this chat that we've had tonight. Uh, Rush is the thing. Yeah, so we're going to find something else to play. So whether or not it's cut into the same video or just cuts over to another video, we'll figure that out later. But we'll find something else to play. Yep, cool. Well, we're, uh, we're back. We're playing the feud. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't realize it was going to go directly into the game like that. But Downwell uh, is now Godzilla. We're playing Godzilla. Godzilla, well, Patrick's playing Godzilla. This is, uh... We're listening to the G-Force operator uh, attack Godzilla. Oh it's, my god, he's angry. Um, he's pixelated. He's wading through uh, jello pudding. It's not the best game in the world, but it's okay for what it is. Um, I liked it a lot more when it was on, uh, when I first got it. Um, I just gotta remember the controls here, but... That's what your parents said about you. Oh! Listen. I liked him a lot more when I first got him. Sorry. It's alright. Anyway, the, the the object is to My destroy body things. pillows! No, you monster! As you destroy things you gain height and That's how it works in the real world, actually. You know, you gotta get big enough to, you know, defeat all the other monsters and shit. As you do. Alright, our one is turn around. You know, this is still better than the American Godzilla yeah. with Matthew Broderick. You say the American Godzilla, but there's been another American Godzilla since then. You know what? 
There we go. Oh, 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 Circle there's a button. rave going on in there. No! <laughs> Firewalk was playing in there! You fool! <laughs> Godzilla says winners don't do drugs. <laughs> um, Godzilla doing the moonwalk. Yeah, oh right. no! Did, now, did you go with the normal breath or the vapor breath? I went with the normal breath. Oh, I wanted vaping Godzilla. I don't know. Well, I don't know what the vaping vapor it's breath the does. The only way to make like Godzilla more of a threat is having him just constantly be talking about how he vapes. I have. He's got like a like, Mecha Godzilla vaping pen. <laughs> He sucks like cotton candy flavored steam out of a robot penis. Oh, okay, so. L1 helps me turn. Oh, you turn with the shoulder buttons, okay. To everything, turn, turn. It's, t it's tank controls. Oh, ugh. Christ, why would you play this game if it has tank controls? I forgot it had tank controls. Oh, God. Well, here we are. <laughs> Freeze frame. You're probably wondering how I got to this situation. <laughs> then uh, ramble on by Led Zeppelin starts playing in the background. <laughs> okay. I'm just like destroying stuff off. This is the saddest looking port. Yeah. And the thing is, it's one of those games where it was like out on the PS3 first and then. No, I. I meant, like, actual port, like where ships are. Oh. <laughs> I realized that when you started talking. Uh, I actually meant the physical port no, that you were destroyed. I remember that. Not the port of the game. When, although the port of the game is rather dire as well. There were a lot of people who didn't like this game. When That's it came what out. you should call this episode. Right. Well, dire, I, dire docs. I, <laughs> I, I haven't been, um, I haven't been naming the, these videos just oh, messing that's around, a shame. but I'll put Dire Dire Docs in the description. Dun 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 Kaboom! <laughs> um, but yeah, the, this is like one of those games where like the PS3 version came out like in Japan like a long time ago, and like they made a PS4 version, and then both versions were released simultaneously over here. Ah, so um, it's, it's, um... Yeah, but like the the main the main difference between the two versions is that uh, in the PS4 version you can play as other monsters other than Godzilla, and I also think that they added in the um, the uh, the 2014 American Godzilla as well. You can play as other monsters, but once you play as Godzilla, why would you want to? For achievements. <laughs> I'm just kind of rushing forward. Here, just to get to the thing. This, oh, I, that's right. I, I, got, I unlocked the little dance thing from Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. That's like an attack. No, back up, back up. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, because generators have those. These are special generators. I know, you know, Dominion Power installs those and, and everything. Well, if they did, then the power wouldn't be going out as much as it does. Yeah, that's true. Unless you've got, like, them underground wires going to your house, then you're fine and... There, I... Them fancy underground wires. Subterranean. Oh, if only they had some underground <laughs> wires in Tokyo. Oh, no. I'm just gonna skip that. Like every time you win a stage, the, the humans getting more and more concerned that they're gonna they're all gonna die. You grew two meters. Godzilla stands in the kitchen. <laughs> the they draw a little draw line. line. Oh, I'm gonna go fight Hydra because uh, ah ah <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, basically, uh, as you play through the game, if you pick like easier difficulties or harder difficulties, mm -hmm. the prime minister will change. Oh, that's so, the best difficulty <laughs> level change I've ever seen. So this guy, he's the easy mode prime minister, and he's just basically like, we should try to like reason with Godzilla and and not try to kill him. So you're not going to have as many like, uh, like army folks attacking you. Nice. And uh, the hard mode is just the guy from Sim City who's like, you cannot cut back on funding! You will regret this! <laughs> yeah, the guy from, like, the, uh, the DMV or whatever. Mm. 
<laughs> He's a little different from the family dog. I wonder if they think that the, the same way about uh, about all the other monsters in the game. He's a happy dog. Destroy the power. <laughs> Destroy the power grid, Godzilla. <laughs> Bad Godzilla. Stop destroying the power grid. Zone 2 is just the Ferris wheel. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, no. No, the Ferris wheel brought joy and mirth to children. No! Godzilla cares not. God, it just disappeared. Godzilla destroyed the Ferris wheel where I lost my virginity. <laughs> You can build another one. Can I build another virginity? No. <laughs> no. No. I'm just being paranoid right now. Godzilla sure does have a lot of dials and whistles. Like, Godzilla is <laughs> keeping constant track of the temperature, <laughs> also, his dis own destruction rate and disaster level. Yeah. He's smarter than we all thought. He doesn't He's... appear to have a health bar. Um, he... Can Godzilla be stopped? Yes, there is a, there is a health bar. I... I don't see a health bar. I think it's um, on the side of the radar. That that orange bar there. Oh, okay. I don't re exactly remember, but I think that's a health bar. Because I know that there are ways you can die. Like, getting pelted by too many missiles or having the other monster kill you. But that's not how it works in the movies. They're never, like, just halfway through, like, oh, good, we killed Godzilla, we shot him enough times. He's dead, guys. Well, they Go had, on home! Yeah, yeah and, then, and then they have, like, their super awesome mecha thing. Good you job, mecha Godzilla or the Super X, and then they just end up getting destroyed, even if it's supposed to be, like, specifically tailored to killing Godzilla. This girl's got the worst job. Like, the Super X-3 is the only one that was able to hang in there. She probably gets so bored after a while. Oh no, Godzilla's going after the other generator. Oh no, now the generator's destroyed. Oh golly, who could have seen that coming? Uh, and they, they said that there's another signal, but it's not Godzilla, and it'll be here in 60 seconds. That's Hydra. Oh, okay. Um, or, uh, I know that I'm, I'm technically pronouncing that wrong, but, um, so, most people will you know, known by the actual pronunciation, Hedra or Hedora. Um, but because I grew up watching the original dub of Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, uh, I've been calling him Hedra for like 20, 25 years now, and I don't have any plans to stop doing that. <laughs> you can take my pronunciation of, of kaiju monsters from my cold, dead <laughs> larynx. That was oh, the... Oh, uh, the girlfriend 230! That was actually the, um... The movie review I've been planning on doing for months and just haven't gotten around to oh doing. Oh no! This guy's all versus the smog monster. Well, I have the um, the newer DVD dub of it, but we get signal. What? No, uh, he's about to show up. Main screen oh, turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? There are more monsters. Well, yeah, he's gonna turn it all into into bad icky air and. Kill, uh, turn everyone into skeletons. That's what he does. And he turns into a flying saucer. He turns, he turns my family into photorealistic skeletons. That's what happened in the movie. So he's a creepypasta monster, then. Uh, it, it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And, you know, watching the movie now, it is not really scary at all. It oh, is, no, yeah. It is, you know, like... 70% Godzilla movie, 30% acid trip, and it's entertaining as hell. But, um, I'll talk more about the movie when I eventually get around to doing that, that cool. review of it, eventually. Oh no, something changed with your temperature briefly. Um. I don't know. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising! Oh! Oh no! Combo stopped. So there's a game on Itch.io that's uh, it's like um, Slender, where you run around the woods and collect notes. Except instead of Slender Man, it's Guy Fieri, <laughs> and it's called like Escape from Flavor Town. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Does it use like Guy Fieri voice clips and everything? Yes. Yes, and it's got, like, a Guy Fieri who, like, chases <laughs> you through the woods. 
Well, they make a lot of those games, like the, like the Shrek one. That's right, mate. You're a real rock star. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Queen Obvious. Something I actually found out fairly recently is that Guy Fieri isn't even his real name. Well, who would name their child Guy Fieri? Well, his his real name is I mean, his real first name is Guy, but his actual last name is Fairy, F A like F E R R Y. Oh, okay. And he just like changed it to sound more Italian. <laughs> it's like uh, you gotta say it like you have ice in your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the giant kaiju has gone down, if you know what I mean. Oi, oi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I haven't forgotten about the generator, honey. No, not the affordable lakefront housing. <laughs> no, you monster. There was a Starbucks in that building. A Starbucks! <laughs> it wasn't affordable for Godzilla. Mommy, is Godzilla going to destroy us? No, but maybe he said, just hold me tight. It's okay. <laughs> oh! oh, God. That's, no, wait. That's basically like the original Godzilla movie. There was a scene like that. Um, no, wait. God damn it. We're about to beat this level of uh, Candy Crush. <laughs> I, I, you, I mean, you know how silly the Godzilla movies can be, but I don't know if you've actually like seen the original cut of like of the first Godzilla movie. It is dark as shit. I don't think so. Like the Gojira or whatever? Yeah, yeah Gojira. I think I've seen the American, like the shit oh, yeah. American one with Burt Lancaster or whatever. Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr. Um, well, I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't that... I mean, the, it wasn't even that, that silly with the uh, with the American dub, but, like... With a lot of the stuff that they, um... That they didn't dub, like, when, during a lot of the, like, the city destruction scenes, there were, like, you know... Japanese people just kind of like standing around speaking Japanese without dubbing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And you don't get to, you, you know, if you don't speak Japanese, you don't know what they're saying. Um, but on the, because uh, I have the DVD of the uh, of the original Japanese version too, and everything has subtitles. Mm -hmm. And they're saying stuff like, like there's like a, um, as Godzilla's like approaching like the, that intersection of the, or near the, the street where this, this mom is, is huddling with her children on the side, on the, on the sidewalk mm -hmm. saying, it's okay. We'll see your father soon. Oh, jeez. And um, there's like the scene where he destroys the uh, the TV tower. <laughs> that some like there's like a like a news crew um, broadcasting from the top of the tower, like showing the stuff. And then Godzilla just goes right up to them. And he's like, "All right, this is going to be our, this will be our last transmission. Goodbye, everyone." <laughs> it's a damn good movie, though. <laughs> he means a snowball. Give yourselves to Godzilla. <laughs> I am on so many... Uh... They just take off his mask and he was a Godzilla the whole time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there I is... am on so many phenobarbitals right now. <laughs> there is actually uh, English voice acting as well, but uh, it's not that great, so... Benzodiazepines, that's what I was thinking of. The, the Prime Minister is on so many benzodiazepines. Oh, not the power plant, we need that! We built this city on rock and roll! Rock and roll! <laughs> you may take my body, Godzilla, but you'll never take my pride! I'm a proud furry! <laughs> and all I was thinking was, oh look, a factory district! <laughs> Who's I know when that hotline bling. Godzilla just for something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's back off because the shield's about to go off again. Ever since I left the city, you <laughs> coming on and saying I destroy shit. <laughs> Send the military to destroy me. Ain't no one in Japan will employ me, <laughs> cause ever since I left the city, you... Oh. <laughs> left behind a trail of destruction. These new generators do not function. <laughs> <laughs> Turned all of these people to my luncheon. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. 
can't say it doesn't. Uh, yep, zone five. Oh, 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 zone five, <laughs> zone five. <laughs> That's a little bit more of a stretch. I don't know. No, not both, but shouldn't that be full of water? Um, now it's full of explosions. Oh, no, not the flash paper silo! <laughs> we really shouldn't have bought all these identical generators. I think, like, the backstory of the game is that it's, like, generators that have something to do with Godzilla. If only like we Godzilla bought the generators energy. that were able to generate the shields for longer periods. And it's like the only source of power that Japan uses anymore. But, yeah, but I knew renewables would be the death of us all. Because they attract Godzillas. Oh no, that one's Vitas! <laughs> no look, go over to the ship. Vitas! <laughs> that's, all the, that's the Sony <laughs> ship! It's got all the Vitas on it! No! It's okay. Not my Animu games! <laughs> it's okay. Not even Sony d does anything with those now. They're not going to miss it. Nep, nep, no! <laughs> nep, Neppington. You killed Nep, nep, John. <laughs> my waifu! <laughs> it's okay. There's plenty of Steam games with waifus. Like Hoonie Pop and... And, uh... Uh, oh, we don't need to go on, go on a list. I don't know. Oh. Oh, I'm, just, okay. I'm just thinking of games that Markiplier has played. <laughs> Batra. It's Batra. Batra by Parker Brothers. Your parents help you put it together. Battery's not included. Now, let's go fight Batra. I don't think he ever turns into, like, his moth form, so... I we my friend. Ow! He screams, though. Jeez. He is the only kaiju to truly understand the uh, the inevitability of death. This makes him the most the saddest, most contemplative kaiju. While the other kaiju are going out and getting laid and partying, he stays at home reading Dostoevsky. Oh, oh! But what did it get him, really? <laughs> A shot in the face. Thank you very much. The pain of being Batra. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a, there's a grab option. I don't think it really matters. Got two Vatra larva cells. Oh, it was pregnant with twins. <laughs> well, I can use those for upgrades now. Eat your twins. <laughs> Kill your family. <laughs> Godzilla killed my family. <laughs> Godzilla, you're a monster. Literally a monster. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Godzilla. But damn it, you get results. <laughs> <laughs> horrible, <laughs> horrible, destructive results. Pictured results. But results, nonetheless. <laughs> Send Microsoft proof of the results to get a free hot hat for Cortana. Exactly. What's on the tape? We don't know. All the watches have died. Pre-order today. Oh my god. I've got a poster for pre-ordering this game. Well, should I never talk about the Steam ship like I wanted yeah, to? Yeah, go ahead and talk about the Steam ship. Oh, yeah, well, let's talk about Steam ship. Okay. So, PC gaming, you guys. Have you heard about this? You heard about PC gaming? We did it before. We, we played Undertale and and, and Undertale Dungeon great, Hack. by the way. I have Undertale on PS4 now. I don't... I need to get it on my Vita. Uh, so yeah, Steam released a list of the top-selling games Jet Jaguar. for, uh, Jet Jaguar. Anguirus. Should we fight Jet Jaguar or Anguirus? Whichever one you want. I'm just gonna keep going with easy mode. <laughs> uh, they released their, their top, but since they're Steam, uh, since they're Valve and they're fucking ridiculous, they can't, uh, just actually list them. They put them in, like, uh, in tiers. Like, there's platinum tier, and gold tier, and silver tier, and bronze tier. So, these are the games that ranked platinum tier, according to uh, Valve, in the year of our lord, 2017. Uh, <laughs> Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive, Rainbow Six Siege, The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt, 
Grand Theft Auto V, H1Z1, Ark Survival Evolved, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, Unknowns Battlegrounds, sorry, Rocket League, Divinity Original Sin 2, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, Dota 2, <laughs> and Warframe. So how many of those games were actually released in the year of our Lord 2017? That's, that's the first thing that jumps out at me, <laughs> is that of these games, like in terms of like reading into this, what is going on in PC gaming, uh, the big thing news to me is that almost none of these games actually came out in 2017. The only ones that I can think of off the top of my head are three of them. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, Divinity Original Sin 2, and Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, three of them. So 25, yeah, 25% 25 of these games came out this year. So what that says to me is that what's selling on Steam are not current releases as much as they are older games that your computer can run and are now really cheap, yeah. like The Witcher. Well, which, that's, that's the point of you know, buying off Steam is because you have Steam sales and they're cheap all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I found it interesting as well to look at, uh, there's two free-to-play games, Dota and Warframe. I'm kind of shocked that Warframe has apparently made that much money. Not surprised about Dota because Valve flaws it constantly yeah. and there was that, that report a while ago that something insane like 40% of all Steam uh, all Steam accounts have nothing on them except Dota. Oh, so wow. there are a lot of people who, who are on Steam solely to play Dota 2. Um, so yeah, that's just you know an interesting thing. Uh, Counter-Strike, of course, always going to be up there. Well, but yeah. A lot of the old standbys, like Left 4 Dead... Um, Left 4 Dead's in the bronze tier, isn't it? Yeah. Civilization, no Civilization game made it into the, the Platinum tier this year. Civ uh, this is something I found interesting. Civilization 6 is in the gold tier, but... It never. They also released these lists of most simultaneous players, and let's see here. Uh, Civ Five had over fifty thousand simultaneous players at some point in twenty seventeen, whereas Civilization Five did not even have twenty five thousand simultaneous players oh, wow. at any point. So that's really interesting to me. Um, in terms of hours played. Civ 5 and Skyrim outweigh like everything that's not a multiplayer game. Uh, some other notables, uh, your boy Nier Automata in the gold tier, um, along with Stellaris and Dark Souls 3. Um, Cuphead busting into the silver tier along with Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy 14, Path of Exile, uh, and Dead by Daylight. And nothing terribly interesting in the bronze tier, other than noting that Skyrim has fallen into the bronze tier finally. Left 4 Dead is in the bronze tier. I mean, people stopped buying it. I mean, nothing pa against Skyrim, but Paladins, uh, only free to play game I see in the bronze tier. That has probably changed because I've heard that Paladins fucking ruined uh, the game a couple uh, updates ago. Yeah, I heard that too. And, oh no, there's another free to play. Shadowverse, the card collecting game, is in there as well. I don't play that. Um, I played, um, what's it called? Hearthstone for a little bit on my phone. But, uh, I don't know, it got old quickly. 